Hello guys, welcome once again. From the video number 42 uh, to video number 48, I have shown you how to create a PDF file and how to insert uh, lines, list or images or charts or tables inside that PDF with the help of your iTextSharp DLL. In this video, I will show you how to read uh, the PDF file and show it in the form of a uh, string inside a text box or a rich text box. So in this video I will show you how to pass your PDF file into a string and show it into the text box or a rich text box with the help of uh, of course iTextSharp DLL. So if you don't know how to include uh, the iText Sharp uh, DLL in your project then you need to see the video number 42 I think in which I have shown you how to create a PDF with the help of iText Sharp because you need that DLL file in your resources and then you could be able to read uh, the file. So now what I will do is I will take a rich text box in which I will show the converted PDF to string text and I will take a button and I will change its text as read PDF okay so this is uh, the text box and this is the button to read the PDF and uh, the name of this rich text box I will leave as default and now let's uh, start coding so just click this uh, read PDF and double click it and you will reach to the button next action perform of this uh, button click event First of all go at the top because we need to import a namespace and in here we will import a namespace so write using i text sharp dot text dot pdf dot parser okay so just import this file in order to parse your pdf and once again I will go to the code and double click this button once again and in here first of all I will write the code for choosing the pdf file from your pc or from your computer so so write this code for choosing the file so write open file dialog this will open the file dialog this code whole code so write open file dialog dialog is equal to new open file dialog bracket and bracket closed and we will declare a string variable in which we will copy the path of the file and so I have declared string file path and semicolon and then I copy that open file dialog variable pasted here dot filter is equal to double quotes PDF files in the bracket star dot PDF bracket closed and this or symbol star dot PDF then once again this or symbol all files in, in the bracket star dot star or star dot star so this is the filter for your open file dialog and it will just show the PDF file initially or if you select all files then it will show all files okay so this is the filter for only choosing the PDF or only showing the PDF files and then uh, 
just give i condition if your dialog variable dialog dot show dialog bracket is equal to dialog dialog result dot ok then in the bracket write file path which is this variable is equal to dialog this variable dot file name to string so this will copy your selected pdf file path into this string variable so this is only to select the path of your pdf file and transfer it into your string now we will write the code for passing the pdf okay so first of all here after your if condition is uh, complete below that i will write a try catch block first so this will catch any exception if exist in the code so write this try catch block it's simple try and bracket open close catch exception ex and then met message dot show ex dot message so write this and then here on the top of your try block declare a string variable which is this string string text is equal to string dot m empty so this is a string variable in which i will contain my string which is which i have passed from the pdf file so declare this above your text file and now i will go in the text uh, try block and then here i will write this code so in the try block i have written pdf reader and i have given a variable name to pdf reader is equal to new pdf reader bracket and bracket closed and in here in the bracket i will pass a path of the file so in the open file dialog uh, code here i have declared a string variable which is this file path which contains the path of the pdf file i will copy just that variable and i will pass into this pdf reader and it's showing me some error this error is because it's a local variable and this is not uh, recognizing this string variable inside this try catch block so what i will do is i will just go here if condition and i will just cut this uh, bracket for the if condition so what i have done is i have just copy and cut this if condition and i will go below this catch block code and i will paste this here okay just go below your catch block brackets and just paste below here so now it will take it as a local variable which will which it will recognize okay so write pdf reader reader is equal to new pdf reader in the bracket pass the path of the file and then write a for loop here to here and in that we will declare int page is equal to 1 semicolon page is less than equal to reader which is this pdf reader dot number of pages semicolon page plus plus and then write i text extraction strategy its is equal to new i text sharp dot text dot pdf dot parser dot location text extraction strategy okay and then i will declare a string s is equal to pdf text extractor dot get text text from page and in the bracket pass this uh, reader 
variable comma this page variable and comma this i text track, uh, extraction strategy variable here okay in the next line just copy this string as paste it here is equal to encoding dot utf8 dot get string and in the bracket ascii encoding dot convert and then in the bracket we will pass some argument which are encoding dot default comma encoding dot utf8 comma encoding dot default dot get bytes and in the bracket just pass this s string variable and just close all the brackets so write this and this here and in the next line write string text which is this variable in which we will contain our passing string is equal to string text plus s which is this string variable and now just copy the name of your rich text box which is this rich text box name dot text is equal to string text str text this one okay and bracket closed and after your for loop is complete just write reader dot close okay and this is all the code for passing the pdf file into your rich text box so if you want you can just copy this code this is the try catch block code and this is all in the if condition right if our file is pdf then it will execute this code and if you don't see this line now you can copy this line also now i will try to run the program and i will give username and password and now when i click this read pdf button it will open a file dialog and see here it shows the filter which chooses only pdf files right so i will go and choose any pdf file for example this file and i will select it and if you see all the data from the pdf file is copied into my rich text area it will not pass your images it will just pass your text only so if you are expecting much from this uh, i text shop uh, parser then it will not be uh, useful to expect more things from this i text parser but of course it will pass your pdf text and convert it into string and show it into the rich text box okay so this is all the pdf content which content which it has shown in the rich text box so in this way you can parse your pdf file in the form of string and show it into the rich text box i hope you have enjoyed this video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now